Aren't you impressive? I didn't think people like you who use fancy and ridiculous moves existed in this world. Now don't you get cocky thinking flashy tricks like that are gonna take me down. That ain't gonna work. On Soichiro Nagi! Hey boy, that was quite a legitimate striking move. Don't treat it so lightly. It's an attack that requires the use of Chi, which Takayanagi acquired only through intense training. Chi is produced within oneself, and therefore can only be used within the same body that created it. That's enough of this crap! I got plenty of will running through my body, too! It's called the will to fight! Hm. That can also be good. However, be careful how you use it, boy. Make no mistake, Takayanagi is several times stronger than you. I'm gonna give this first year a handicap. If my challenger can land just one single blow, I'll be glad to call it his win. I'll kill you in one blow! Soichiro-sama! Look at this guy. Soichiro can't even hold a candle to him in a one-on-one -on -one match. <laughs> If it makes you feel any better, this is the first time I've fought someone as tough as you are. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing. Why don't you stop pulling these cheap-ass attacks, senpai? I went easy on him because he's an amateur, and look at the gratitude. As you wish, I'll end it all with this next blow. No! What? I see it! That was really foolish. What the? Because Aya is so head over heels in love with him, I assumed he would last longer. He's tough. So that's all the fight he's got. of that caliber? Yeah, well, since when am I engaged to you? Listen, I have never lost a fight against anybody in my entire life. So you just shut up and keep watching, got it? Yes. I still think she's crazy, but if she hadn't yelled at me, I might still be out cold. All that mind reading I was doing was just about to put me on pace with him. Look at Takayanagi senpai His behavior has changed. Huh? Sometimes you'll find. This kind of person. This very moment, for the first time ever, I honestly feel like beating you down to a pulp. That's what I've been hoping for from the very beginning. Shinirikugo. I'm no martial artist. But hey! I'm a street fighter. Hook in! Beat my secret barrier! <laughs> this... this is... Aya's delicious homemade lunch. When the hell did he... What a dirty move. Anything's fair game in a fight! Oh, that did it. <laughs> so Ichiro Sama? What? You think I'd be crying or something? Well, too bad. 
I'm so happy I can barely contain myself. You're happy? Up till now, the only guys I faced were wimps, and I was tired of it. Now I finally met someone who really is strong. Can you imagine how good that feels? The best part is that this school is full of other guys who are even stronger than he is. So yeah, I'm happy. So Ichiro-sama, will you please promise me one thing? Huh? Don't ever lose again. Not ever. You idiot! Who do you think you're talking to? That goes without saying. That's because I'm Soichiro Nagi. Soichiro-sama! Let him go. Sis, think about how he feels. He acts fine, but he'll remember those scars he got. Or not. I don't want to lose. I can't afford to lose. made me quite serious. Soichi Ronaki, where did you come from? You're awfully rough today. You do realize the stones in our garden don't come free. So will you please stop taking your frustration out on them? So Ichiro-sama never showed up at school today. If he's badly hurt, it's Takayanagi-senpai's fault, you know? Takayanagi can be so hopeless. That boy of yours is the type who thinks it's okay to use your homemade lunch as a fighting tool. I don't know why you won't leave him alone. I don't care. I don't care if he's a cheating, underhanded weakling. 
No matter what he does, I'm in love with Soichiro-sama. <sighs> Fine. But he and his friends are about to run into a lot of trouble. What do you mean? I heard the Executive Council seniors are on the move. Right now is the perfect time in the school year for them to start handing out a punishment to the two freshmen that have stirred up all this violence. I'm rather excited to see who the new executioner will be. Now then, their punishment? Executioner? <laughs> Who the hell are you? You guys are still doing the same cheap tricks. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> hey, you bastard, that ring there is sacred. Huh? What'd you say? What do you boys say I teach you what real martial arts are all about? What? what? Quite amusing. Let me assure you that our wrestling moves are just as good as the pros. Don't think you're getting out of here with just a couple of broken bones. <laughs> So who wants to go next? Enough! Sakura! This guy utilizes the Chi of Fire. None of you are going to be any match against him. Uh -huh. Are you saying that you can win against me? That's a foolish question. I don't enjoy any battle that has no meaning. However, if you continue to insist upon it, I will quite gladly return to you the wounds that my club members have suffered. Hmm. Fine, then I'll let it be. I didn't come here today to get in a fight with you. The Executive Council has sent out a summons. To me, and to you. The Executive Council? I see. So Soichiro-sama didn't come? to school today either? Yeah, but knowing him, he got nothing to worry about. I'm sure he'll be back to his usual self in no time. Yes, but he... What's wrong? Is there something else bothering you? Mr. Makihara, do you know about the Executive Council? Executive Council? What the hell is that? Well, I'm not entirely sure about it myself. But I... I think it might be where the school is hiding some kind of secret. Like a... really big secret. So Ichiro Nagi and Bob Makihara, both of them freshmen. So you want me and Sagara to take care of them for you? Yes, that's what it boils down to. But I still don't get it. Why do they need the combined power of the two of us to carry out the task of taking down a couple of freshmen? I came up with that exact same question. But, it was the President and not me who made this decision. The President? Yes. He seems very interested in this matter. Especially when it comes to that Soichiro Nagi. <laughs> I've heard a thing or two regarding that feisty little freshman. From what I understand, Takayanagi beat him up pretty badly one day. I hate to break it to you, but this one is all mine. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Missy Suzu? Well, I'm not so sure. Now this may go without saying, but... You have absolutely no room for error. <clears throat> hmm? I'm just taking a little advance payment on my reward. <clears throat> <laughs> that man is still... Wooed and repulsive. Wicked bitch. She definitely ain't easy. Fighting's all about experience and guts. In the end, the only thing that really matters is whether or not you're willing to give up your life to win. That's what Soichiro and I lived by. No matter who the enemy was, we were never gonna lose. At least that's what we thought. You're not gonna fight him, Bob? That Takayanagi guy. Someday I will.
But how come? You were really looking forward to this. You said there were strong guys there. I took things too lightly. You know, I had no idea that guy could be such a monster. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think I stand a chance against him right now. Right then, I realized for the very first time that there are guys out there that are so ridiculously strong that spirit and guts just aren't going to be enough against an opponent like that. Hmm. Huh. I don't believe it. That's so strange. So Nachan lost a fight, huh? And in a big freaking way. I wish there was some way that you could have seen it. So now what's Nachan doing? Don't know. As far as I know, this is the first time he's ever lost a fight. Probably singing the blues somewhere about now. No more of this stuff. I have a much bigger problem now. And it's that the beautiful home-cooked meal that I so lovingly made for you is now just sitting there all alone and getting cold. Now eat oh, up. I'm sorry. <laughs> You could at least knock. Hey there, loser. I'm leaving. Wait. You didn't come here just to break our door down, did you? Don't even say it. You couldn't help it. You got a little desperate and you pulled a dirty trick. And you still got your ass kicked in the end. If I were you, I'd blow my brains out. Right. It's just that I... All right. I'm gonna head off to the laundromat now. Sure. And Nachon, make sure that you drink all that. Okay, tell me, Bob. Do I come across as weak to you? Well, I'm afraid at this point, my friend. It's pretty clear that you're weaker than that midget chick, Takayanagi, and Aya. Yeah, I guess. That is pretty clear. Hey, Nagi, does it smell like something's burning? I don't know. Maybe somebody went out there and set your motorcycle on fire. Not funny. That's not even something I want to hear you joke about, you got it? 